Two friends, Bill here talking about prayer. I want to give a little bit different context today with a closing request. <clears throat> my question is, is do we believe men are sinners? And my argument is we don't. We don't believe it. The church doesn't believe it. The church at large doesn't believe it. And why would I say that? Well, if we believe men were sinners, here's some illustrations. We would pray, according to 1 Timothy 1 through 7, for the president, whoever the president is. Because the president, with immense civil authority, could wake up one day, send or take them, and they could launch rockets against their own people or do some sort of uh, vengeance against people in the nation. Governors could do it, mayors, uh, sheriffs, police, just just uh, uh, ongoing and, and on a large scale, they could, they could do something like that, amongst other things. Do we pray for the pastors of our churches? We don't, you know why? Because we don't believe sin is a problem. We don't pray for them as if sin could overtake them. And so we don't pray for them. What about our neighbors? Do we pray for the salvation of our neighbors with great earnestness? We don't do it. Why? Because we don't believe men are sinners. And that's my contention. And so you have to discipline yourself to pray for people. You have to let the knowledge that you have about sin and whatever faith we have about being sinners, you have to discipline yourself to pray for these situations. Pray for those in authority. Pray for labors for the harvest. Pray for the salvation of sinners. Pray for the shepherds of the church around the world to be strong and lead their people into righteousness. Pray for more shepherds to be raised up, more laborers, more pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists. So I want you to join me in praying for more laborers for the harvest and the salvation of sinners, whoever is preaching the word and wherever those laborers go to work. And pray for the shepherds, the sheep that exist, and pray for more, and pray for the sheep to love the word of God and to, and to be people of prayer, be of the word in prayer, Jesus says, and Revelation Ephesus, you've come back to your first love, that we would love the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm begging you to join me in these prayers, friends. We must become a people of prayer, a people of the Word. We must recognize the power of sin that's working against us all the time, just on an everyday level, not because we have some extraordinary uh, times that we live in. That's not my pretext at all. It's just simply that sin is a powerful force, and we need to be in prayer about the things we've talked about, praying for those in authority, praying for the shepherds, praying for the sheep, praying for labors of the harvest, and praying for the salvation of sinners. Thank you.